I'm in northern Vermont on a river. Um, there's rocks everywhere, so I hope you like rocks because that's all there is. That and some water. Actually over here in the background, if you can see, there's a huge rock wall and that rock is a little bit special. It's, it's inclined like this. So the rocks are oriented, boop, 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 boop. They were once like this and now they're like this. So that's why there's that perfect slant. And that slant just so happens to be exposed. And now we have a river cutting through over on that side. That happens to be the cut bank, which is the curve of the river that's on this side. So as water goes in, it cuts away more of it. And that's why that rock is exposed. On the other side, oh, what's that called? I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. That is another part of the, of the bank where things are deposited. So water moves the slowest on that inner bank and it moves the fastest on the outer bank, the cut bank. So while it moves really slow, it could be carrying things in the water, you know, tons of pebbles, river rocks, and then all of a sudden it gets really, really slow. It just drops them. Over there on that side, that is where it just drops all these rocks. So if you're ever in an area where you're at like a little stream or river and you just see a bunch of river rocks just laid there, be aware that's where the water is moving the absolute slowest. The water doesn't have the capacity to carry all of those rocks, all of that weight anymore, so it just drops them. And it doesn't even care where it puts them. It just, it's rivers, they're just, they're just littering. Speaking of littering, there was a pile of, of, of white claw cans here, and that's really not a great thing to do. If you ever get to a place and there's garbage, be sure to pick it up. And if you're that person who decides to leave garbage, fuck you. Here we are in Warren, Vermont, with a beer in the mud. You gotta be inconspicuous sometimes. I'm standing on some pretty vertical, it's, it's vertical, I'll tell you it's vertical. It's like this. If you show down there, I'll show you in a minute. All the way down there, the rocks are just straight up, pretty schisty. Right now, I'm standing a little bit further upstream, and what I'm looking around is all these friggin' holes everywhere. I'm gonna like step in it, it's full of leaves and water, but why are they here? What are they doing? Where do they come from? These are called potholes, and at the time that you drive on the road and it ruins the suspensions, you know, it might give you a flat tire. These are geological, natural river potholes. These form because millions of years ago, there was some rock, maybe this big, maybe this big, it rounds up getting stuck in like a little crack in the rock and then the water kept pushing and the rock would just kind of like wiggle in place and then once the hole got bigger it developed once the crack got bigger it developed a little circular pit so as time went on the river would push it and it would just kind of go around in a circle just go around a circle and make that pit bigger and make it deeper and that's how you get these potholes and if you think these are big, wait till I show you what's down there. Oh. Here's further downstream. Yeah. Further downstream, there's a huge waterfall onto my right and pulls into these giant swimming holes, which are, you guessed it, the same potholes you saw before at a much larger scale. So this happened over a much larger amount of time than the smaller ones you saw upstream. Down here, they got so deep that you can even see potholes within potholes. This is a great place to swim. The water is ice cold. It is mountain water straight from, you know, off the mountain. And it makes a nice fun summer destination. You can see in the background, the rocks are pretty much vertical. So if you want to know why there's a lot happening, they're doing cannonballs over there. This area of Vermont is categorized characterized by these huge vertical rocks. So at some point, all these rocks, sedimentary of course, were horizontal by the principle of original horizontality. And then because of a mountain building event, they just kind of went like this. And right now, we're sitting in an area that's, that's this. It's like the flank of that. Maybe it's this side. Either way, the rocks are dipping in this direction. So the rocks look like this right now. And they're super vertical. And they actually have some schisty textures to them, which is meaning that they're kind of shiny. They have a lot of mica in them. Definitely slippery when wet.
it's slippery. Ah.